welcome back everyone to skincare and beauty with perky perkins where i do a lot of unboxings makeup tutorials and i also do product reviews along the way so as you guys read from my title today i'm doing a holiday party glam look um i figured why not because i haven't done one and i haven't used these two bad boys I got ended up getting these from BoxyCharm. This came broken, but I managed to fix it. And then this guy right here was my replacement, actually. Um, so I wanted to put them to good use, right? Why keep on collecting dust? These palettes are from the October BoxyCharm boxes. Shame on me. I gotta stop being wasteful. But anyways, so. If you guys want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. But before we get started, make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you like the video and comment below how your day is going today. Now let's go. So I'll be using both just the color palettes, but I'm starting off with my alt Terrier, can't pronounce it, eyeshadow primer, and I'm using my Glitteral Cosmetics brush to blend it all out. Now I used Outdoorsy out of the Baked Browns palette, and I'm using a doe color all over shader brush. Now I'm gonna be Packing it in and blending out the edges at the same time so that I get the color to the intensity I want. And at this time, I'm just applying it to my crease area along with a little bit on the outer corner as well. Now I'm taking a little coffee break and then going with tea light to blend out the edges and I'm using a Luxie 237 blending brush to blend them out. Now using a Morphe flat brush, I'm going to go into Palma, I believe it's pronounced, and then I switched over to my finger, and as you can tell, I switched over again to my Hink and Henry Nicole brush to do the application. I also used my Gerard Cosmetics Lay All Day in Mint Chocolate Chip so that the shimmers could be more intense and stick to my lid i had to change it from the beginning choices because the fallout is intense you guys look at all that shimmer on my face it's it's excessive honestly now using a visanti contour brush i'm going into poquito mas and I'm applying it to the outer corner and dragging it in to the crease right where that bridge of your bone is for your eye socket. I wanted to intensify the color to make it to make it pop basically. I wanted to create more depth into it. Now I took my Nicole brush again and I went into that glittery black shade which is called Loungy and I'm actually shaping out a V at the outer corner. This way it makes it look like I built out a wing liner almost. 
this brush is very nice very detailed and as you can tell I didn't need to cut a crease which is amazing and I had spritzed the brush previously so it's it's sticked on now I grabbed a little bit of that green shimmer and used it to tap out the edges now I'm using the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer to apply throughout my face this is a very nice hydrating primer and I was very generous this time making sure all pores are filled and again another coffee break I'm doing this at 12 30 in the morning one o'clock actually now I did take my It's Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and just applied a few drops of, around my face and I'm using my Hank and Henry Nikki brush to blend it all out. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation brushes now of all time. It does such a beautiful job blending everything. Now I'm taking my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealers in shade 020 and 005. So I use 020 to apply around my face first basically to conceal and then that second one was the 005 to brighten just the inner corner and at the bridge of my nose. And I'm using my Hank and Henry Midori sponge, the large one, to blend everything out. Now, whenever you're doing your under eye area, you guys, just always try to make sure to be looking up. So you're kind of pulling on your under eye skin. This actually helps a lot so that you don't have creasing under your eyes. And next, I'm using my Pretty Vulgar Mad About It Powder Room powder and I'm using my new motor brush the BMX 265 to actually just tap it around the areas and basically dusting it on um, and then I took my Sandra brush from Hank and Henry and applied it for the rest of my face just as a recommendation anyone which has dry skin i highly recommend that you actually dust on the setting powder so it doesn't get cakey now i am doing the pretty vulgar bronze mannequin bronzer and i'm using my luxie brush in the number 512 the small contouring brush to shape and sculpt. I actually love using the smaller brushes because you could be more defined. I, I could do my whole face basically. And I do do a circular motion and padding at the same time, just so you guys know. And then once I'm done shaping and making sure it's as blended as possible, I take my powder brush with no extra product and I just blend everything over once more and make sure it's nice and smooth. So I'm taking my Sigma Pet Name Blush in Aurora and I'm applying it with the E3 Morphe and I am starting from the apples of my cheek and blending it back. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I am doing a tapping and kind of like a dragging motion where I pull it to the back of my hairline. And I'm not sure if you guys were able to tell, but I did go back and grabbed a little bit more of the Poquito Mas eyeshadow. I had noticed that there was a little bit of a patchy spot this is hooded eye problems so I took the brush tried to apply I had to switch it to the Vinci and just as a trick you guys if you have hooded eyes and you're having issues just pull the skin and blend and pack it in basically right now I'm using the Hank and Henry 
Monica brush to actually blend all the shades to make sure it's smooth because it got a little beefed up basically once I added more color. Now I'm using that contour, that small contour brush from Vasanti and doing my bottom lash line with the Poquito Mas shade. I'm dragging it in nearly to the inner corner but leaving a little bit of space for some highlight. So I took my Hank and Henry sponge just to blend out the bridge area after the contouring and now I'm using the Beauty by Bianca X Doe Colors blending brush and I started from the bottom going to a circular motion to the brow area and I'm doing this until the edges are nice and smooth with a nice transition. Now I'm using the shade Wonderlust and I'm using it for the inner corner and I did use the Luxie brush number 111 it's called a mini flat angled it's one of my favorites to do actually my inner corner and my brow bow area now I'm just tapping out the highlighter making sure it's all good now I'm taking my slate all day from Gerard's Cosmetics in the mint chocolate chip and I'm fanning it out and I'm gonna apply now my Hank and Henry Luster Veil in Glow Bandit and I'm using my Hank and Henry Francis brush for the application. I always prefer to apply my highlighters when like shortly after I apply the setting spray because your base is still a little damp so you don't necessarily have to wet your brushes and it makes them much more intense. Now I'm going in with my Gerard's Cosmetics Lip Liner and Immortal to just line out my lips and you know just to create a nice little shape especially since one of my sides is a little off. Now I'm taking my Gerard's Cosmetics Light It Up Candy Apple Red Gloss, which is stunning. So I'm going to get off camera, do my mascara and liner, and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so here's the final look. Um, I have to say overall, I'm very happy with how it came out overall. I struggled as always with the darn mascara on my right eye because you know it wants to be sassy but um, overall um, you know I love the look again this is a great holiday look party whatever festive um, but yeah um, but I will have to say, because like I mentioned in the beginning, I didn't use these palettes previously, especially the baked browns, because um, it was slightly cracked, um, like two shades. But oh my gosh, it, the baked browns palette was really, really dusty, and um, I had so much kickback, not only on the pan, but also on my face. And then on this palette right here, um, the mattes were fine. It's just the shimmers were all over my face. So definitely, if you're using these two palettes, make sure you use them before you put your face on. But at the end of the day, I love my look. Technically speaking, I'd be ready to hit the town and go to a party. So. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, do you guys like the look? Yes, no, maybe. You might change some things. But anyways, thank you guys so very much again for joining me today on Vlogmas Day 4. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I will catch you on the next one.